Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Today, I'm in Wilkes County, North Carolina. We're going to be visiting the site that is legendary to fans of NASCAR Winston Cup racing. So join me as I visit Ingalls Hollow. I'm here in Ingalls Hollow, where NASCAR legend Junior Johnson not only lived, this is where he built those famous race cars that were driven by such stars as Cal Yarborough, Neil Bonnet, and Darrell Walter. The shops have been closed for a number of years, and I'm not sure what the buildings are used for today. I'm going to drive up this road behind what was once one of the uh, Junior Johnson shops and see what we can see. Junior started out here with a single race team with Cale Yarborough driving those yellow and white Holly Farms number 11 Chevrolets. He eventually expanded to two teams with Budweiser as a sponsor. He kept the number 11 car that was driven by Darrell Walter and added Number 12, driven by Neil Bonnet. When Junior expanded, he built a second set of shops, which the drivers and crew often referred to as the team across the creek. Because the small creek ran through the property separating the two shops. I think these white buildings that we're looking at now are the original race shops. And you can see the small creek that I was talking about separating them from the new brick shops that we just drove by. The white buildings on the hill are Junior's old chicken houses. These are the number 12 shops, I think. I'm not sure, but I believe I'm right. If I'm not, I feel sure somebody will correct me in the comments. In Junior's heyday as a team owner, he and his first wife, Miss Flossie, lived here in this house on a hill just above the race shops and chicken houses. In fact, I think Miss Flossie was actually listed as the car owner for the number 12. After Junior and Miss Flossie divorced, she continued to live here where she was famous for her cooking. In fact, I think she even wrote several cookbooks that were very successful. Miss Flossie Johnson passed away about a year ago at the age of 90. This is the creek that separated the two shops. And this building here, I think, might have been the uh, race offices. Today, it's an antique shop. Another look at what I think is the uh, where the number 12 Budweiser Chevrolet of Mill Bonnet was uh, built. And through the trees and across the creek is where the number 11 shops were located. said earlier this building may have been the offices of Junior Johnson Racing 
it's the only building on the property that is open to the public. And people inside are really very friendly and seem to embrace their history. And one last look around at Junior Johnson's Ingalls Holler Race Shops. After leaving the Ingalls Holler Race Shops, it was just a short drive to the Pleasant Grove Baptist Church, the final resting place of the man Thomas Wolfe called the last American hero, Junior Johnson. As I walk through the church cemetery, the name Johnson is pretty common here in Wilkes County. Quite a few of the headstones bear the name Johnson, but I have no trouble locating the one that I'm looking for. And it's right here. This is the final resting place of Robert Glenn Johnson, Jr better known to NASCAR fans as Junior Johnson. Junior Johnson was born here in Wilkes County on June 28, 1931. And it's been well documented that Junior and his family was involved in the moonshine business. In fact, Junior served a year in prison for running a steal about 1956 or 57. President Ronald Reagan later pardoned him in 1986. As a moonshiner, Junior honed his driving skills running whiskey on the back roads of North Carolina. And he applied those skills as a driver in the early days of NASCAR. His first NASCAR race was at the 1953 Southern 500 in Darlington, South Carolina. That race was won by Fonnie Flock. Junior finished 38th. Junior's first full season was in 1955. And he grabbed his first win at the Hickory Speedway in Hickory, North Carolina. After serving his prison sentence in 1956 and 1957, he returned to NASCAR in 1958, winning six races and gaining a reputation of being one of the best sport's best short track drivers. His first super speedway win didn't come until he took the checkered flag in the 1960 Daytona 500. As a NASCAR and Grand National Series driver, Junior won a total of 50 races and started from the pole 46 times. He retired as a driver following the 1966 American 500 in Rockingham, North Carolina. After ending his driving career, he became a team owner, building cars at his Ingalls Holler shops that we just visited for such drivers as Cale Yarborough, Darrell Walter, Neil Bonnet, Terry Labonte, and Bill Elliott, just to name a few. In all, drivers who raced for Junior won 132 races and six Winston Cup championships. Three championships with Cale Yarborough and three more with Darrell Walter. Junior was inducted into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1991 and was named one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers in 1998. And in 2010, the man Thomas Wolfe dubbed the last American hero 
was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. Junior Johnson died from the complications of Alzheimer's on December the 20th, 2019, at the age of 88. And here is the final resting place of Junior's father. Robert Glenn Johnson, Sr. And his mother, Laura Bell Mooney, or Money Johnson. And right next to Junior is the as yet unmarked grave of his first wife, Miss Flossie Johnson, who just passed away uh, in 2020. She was laid to rest here, and uh, I'm assuming her grave will eventually be marked. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you have a favorite memory of Junior Johnson or his race team, or just a favorite NASCAR memory, leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading and interacting with those of you who take time to watch and comment. And if you found this video interesting, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to keep up with my travels and adventures, please be sure to ring that bell and subscribe so that you'll get notified when I post a new video. So as I move on to my next adventure, remember, life's a journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.